So now we are going to see a fluorescent lamp wiring. So it is one of the interesting fluorescent lamp wiring. So the low power consuming lamp is said to be a fluorescent lamp. The fluorescent lamp will have a different shapes and different power rating ranges. But preferably this kind of a fluorescent lamps we are using in our residential, especially in the form of a tube lights. A tube like structure like a filament, it can able to consume only 36 to 40 watts of a power. So the waves which is going to produce from the fluorescent lamp is in the form of a transverse wave so that the light waves will be freely transferred throughout our room so that these are all the lights are preferable lights for uh, residential lightings. Now we need to check what is the aim of this experiment. Here we are going to prepare and test the wiring for a fluorescent lamp. So from the ceiling rows how we need to give a lamp wiring. Again, what are all the internal connections were present in a fluorescent lamp? Nowadays, we don't have an internal wiring and all, so everything is available ready-made. If it is in the case, then how we need to get an extension from a fluorescent uh, that means ceiling rose arrangement, which we have shown in the previous experiment. So from there, how we need to connect our lamp and through a switch arrangement, how the lamp is going to be controlled. These kind of steps we are going to learn over here. What are all the tools required for this experiments are, as usual, for all the wiring experiment, we must have a hammer, we must have a screwdriver, we must have a line tester as well as a cutting player. Why? Because wherever we have a junctions that has to be wrapped with the help of a cutting players and insulated properly with the help of a tap uh, insulating tape. And the major components for a fluorescent lamp wiring. We must have a one lamp with a fitting and joint clips, wires required, a screwdriver, a switchboard choke arrangement as well as a switch to control it. Now we need to check how what are all the major components were present inside uh, to make a fluorescent to work. We all know this fluorescent lamp will have inside of the fluorescent lamp it is filled with the mercury as well as the inert gases. With the help of an electrical supply we are going to ionize those kind of uh, inert gases so that there will be a conduction between two filament which is present on either side of a lamp. These two are said to be a filament. The given supply is directly touching with this filament. So in between we have a gases. This gases will not accept the conduction will take from one filament to another filament. So that we need to ionize those gases so that there will be a conduction between or else it can, for, for, it can form a closed circuit so that the current flow will be there in a circuit. It means that the circuit has been closed, the work done is going to be taking place in this kind of a circuit. This is said to be a starter. The starter will act as a limiter circuit. The starter is another way called as a limiter circuit. This starter will act as a, a protector also. Why? Because while we are going to analyze this kind of a inert gases, we need to use a choke or a ballast arrangement. There this can be act as an amplifying circuit. There. The power required to ionize those gases can be created in the choke arrangement only. With the help of this uh, starter arrangement, it should be hacked as a limiter. It has a certain range of 40 watts. It can allow only 40 watts inside of the circuit. When the 40 watts is exceeded, this starter will fuse themselves and protect the lamp as well. Protect the lamp. That is the main use of this. It initially it is on normally closing and normally open the condition. When it has a rated power, then it will act as a normally closed condition. When it is normally closed, the power is given into the filament so that there will be a, uh, there will be a conduction between both the filaments. So whenever if you want to use this fluorescent lamp inside of the frame, that base, we should we must show the uh, directions. It has to be inserted on the open end of the lamp holder. So here you can check. Again, after inserting this two, we need to rotate the lamp so that it can correctly hold in that of the holder so that it won't come down, it won't fall down. So this thing, these are all the hints you must know before you are going to insert a fluorescent lamp into the lamp holder. So these are all the general wiring diagrams. So far we have discussed only overview. Now this is the a wiring. How we need to give a wiring? We need to assume this as a main source or we are taking it from the steering rows. In the previous experiment itself, we have shown you how to check phase and neutral. 
with the help of a tester arrangement if you insert in a particular terminal it can give you some lighting in the sense there we have a presence of a face or a line face and line are said to be same only so from that uh, line a uh, face we need to give it a one input terminal of the ballast another terminal of the ballast we need to connect the one end of a lamp holder another end of the lamp holder we need to connect it to a start of one terminal another terminal of the starter again we are going to connect it to the another end of the lamp holder and another end, uh, another terminal of the lamp holder we need to give it to a neutral in this way the given supply is passed and the circuit is going to be closed it means that there will be a flow of a current in this circuit so that the work done is going to be taking place in this lamp this is the wiring diagram of a fluorescent lamp now we are going to check a layout arrangement so inside inside of our uh, residence in each in which way through a pipes this wiring is going to be taking place so we all know if it is a residential wiring we must have a neutral link where neutral link is more than one number of a connections is taking place over here and this is the fuse arrangement it is the initial fuse which is present at the main itself if you have any doubts you can check your eb box then you can identify from an energy meter the main fuse is going to be start the main fuse and main neutral link only we have mentioned over here so from here we are taking our connection the neutral is directly given into a, a fluorescent lamp but phase we need to control the phase has to be given into spst switch where S spst is another way called as single pole single throw switch it is normal switch is another technically called as spst single pole single throw switch here we have only one terminal so one time only we are going to turn it on that's what we can say it as a single pole single throw switch from here the all connection has to be ended with the ceiling rose with the extension wire we are taking it from the ceiling rose from that ceiling rose to straight away we are giving it to a ready madely available lamp that means the lamp connections we have already given while choosing the circuit diagram that arrangement we can directly connect it to a ceiling rose so this is the layout structure now wiring and verification of this fluorescent lamp is going to be explained by dr s ragaraman students let us see the connection of uh, fluorescent lamp wiring uh, how where the starter to be fixed as usual we have face and neutral just you can see uh, right side of me we have two two terminals just you can come closer and you can show you can see the two terminals are right side of me then it comes your starter this is the starter holder then comes your choke this is called as voltage ballast here also we have two connections then we have another end left side of me i have holder with the two connections so now we have only only two connections here face and neutral how to give the connections that is the main point so these are internally connected there you can see just i'm holding the uh, holding the this entire structure so this is called as a neutral this wire is called as a neutral this has been given to one end of the holder here we have two points in that one point we have given this neutral then this is the face face is given you can see the wire you can see this wire where this wire goes this wire goes to voltage ballast choke choke it has been given to one end of the choke so to one end of the choke that uh, face wire will be given from another end the wire has been taken it has been it is running you can see here so it has been running here so this wire directly runs to another part of holder you can see then holder another end it will be coming to the starter starter uh, one side starter another side it will be coming here so it will be given to the voltage ballast so this is a closed path where we are given neutral and face so neutral directly we given here face it is running to the voltage ballast one wire another wire we are taking it is directly we are giving to the holder from that we are giving to the starter the starter we are giving to the holder then it is given as the neutral face so this connection already mr jagdish babu has told clearly this one is face this is neutral so here for demo purpose we have seen given a connection rs directly from this wire this is called as a single strand wire because it is having a single copper wire copper wire you can see so here we have multiple wires this is single strand s t r a n d 
single strand. So you can see this face has been given to a sealing rose. Sealing rose connection already I told in uh, uh, one of the experiment, one of the I think in staircase wiring, uh, uh, residential house wiring. So here we are given connections face to the face. I am giving to the SP ST single pole single thread switch is normally called as a switch. Then from there I am given to the uh, fuse from face. Or you can come in the reverse way also from face to the fuse carrier, fuse carrier to the single SP 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 ST single pole single throw switch. From that I am given to ceiling rose. From there I am given to voltage ballast. Neutral directly I am given to the supply side. You can see this little black wire. Directly I am giving through the ceiling rose. I am giving directly to the uh, plug point. So now I will show how to connect the tube light. Now you, you may have basic knowledge about this because from the childhood you might have noticed your parent, maybe your father may be expert in electrical or your brother or sister may be known about the electrical. Once the bulb has blown up or uh, any fuse, fused bulb has been fused, uh, you, you yourself can change the line. So here I, the main objective of this particular uh, experiment is how to see the connections, what are the connections available in the uh, fluorescent lamp fitting. This is a fluorescent lamp fitting. Lab fitting. Instead, many wires are there. So here you can see whether there is a continuity or not. The continuity is, uh, is there or not. Sometimes due to over voltage, the, the, the wire is a single strand wire. It may be, uh, the continuity may be disconnected. You yourself can be given, you yourself can give the connection. And you can check. Provided you have to remove the wire and you have to uh, do the job. Once you, once you, uh, once you are expert, you can uh, insert the wire in the plug point and you can uh, check with the tester in each and every terminal. So as soon as you give the neutral and face, you can check with the uh, voltage ballast. You can connect the uh, bimetallic stick. This is called as a bimetallic stick. Technically called as a bimetallic stick, it is called as a starter where we can fix here. So this is the oldest uh, chop, uh, choke. Now we are having a copper choke. Instantly you can uh, the bulb will blow. Floors and lamp will blow. So now we have electronic choke. Instantly the bulb will blow. Now we are given a connection. How to how to see the given how to give the connection for neutral and phase. Now let me set up the floors and tube. So before uh, setting up the floors and tube, you have to check like this. These two terminals are properly are properly is there or not. Sometimes uh, when you remove uh, the, the, this will get damaged. So on the time uh, you can't uh, sometimes it will be loose. You are, you are unable to fix. Then if you put a tape and you will put that all it is not safe. Once this has been loose then remove you have to remove and you have to place another tube only. Another floors and lamp. So these two junctions you have to see holders. So I am uh, fixing as a state. You can uh, just you can see here. This I am fixing as a state. Here also I am fixing as a state, so so I am placing this now. So both the side I have to place. So once you test the fitting, ensure that the wires are all connected in the board. I repeat once again, you can test the fitting when, when the wires are not connected to the board. Because sometimes what you will do, so you will test by the live itself, that you feel to the shock. Okay, so that you should not do. So after giving, so what you should do, you have to uh, insert like this. As soon as you insert, you should leave as it is. Because it will, uh, it will, the lamp you can see in our laboratory, it is vertically downward. We, here we have a holder, so no issue, we have fitting. But here sometimes you, you can see only fluorescent lamp fitting and uh, fluorescent lamp around. In that case, it has to withstand. So if you keep as it is, it will fall down. So you have to rotate. Evenly you have to rotate. See how I am rotating. You can see my hands. You have to rotate like this. Either in a clockwise direction or anti-clockwise direction. So once you rotate, you keep as it is. Then what I am going to do? I have to give a connection now. So I have to ensure the switches are in off condition. I am giving a connection. So, I have, so once I remove and I insert the close and tube, sometimes the lamp will not glow. Because there may be some uh, mismatch in the rotation. So, so just I am inserting, now it is working. So this lamp you can touch in the power supply itself. But you are not supposed to touch the fitting after switching now. So this is the best way of uh, uh, knowing 
they were reading about the connection. The main objective of this particular experiment, that is fluorescent lamp wiring, is to identify the fault, to know about the working of the fluorescent lamp, how it works, so that you can uh, you can learn very well and you can uh, work by yourself. Thank you.